It was September 8, 1986, when she started entertaining us on her show called The Oprah Winfrey Show. We all saw how the daytime television talk show became a huge success over the years. But how did she manage to make it that huge? How did she start her career? That will all be answered in a short while, so please stay tuned. Hi guys, this is Jose Enrico from Modern Luxury, and today let's talk about Oprah Winfrey and how she spends her millions. Before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Born on January 29, 1954, in the rural town of Kosciuszko, Mississippi, Oprah Winfrey was born. Oprah had a rough past. She was sexually abused by several male relatives and friends of her Vernita, her mother. Oprah then moved to live with Vernon, her father in Nashville. Vernon Winfrey is a coal miner turned barber then turned city councilman who had been in the armed forces when Oprah Winfrey was born. The year 1971, Oprah went to Tennessee State University and started working in radio and television broadcasting in Nashville. And in the year 1976, she moved to Baltimore, Maryland, where she hosted the TV chat show People Are Talking. Her show became a hit and Winfrey stayed with it for eight years, after which she was recruited by a Chicago TV station to host her morning show AM Chicago. Winfrey competed with Phil Donahue, but within several months, Winfrey's style had won her 100,000 more views than Donahue. I'm sure that nobody was more stunned that we were beating them than, than, than the Phil team. And had taken her show from the last place to the first place in ratings. Oprah Winfrey then launched The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1986 as the nationally syndicated program that ran for 25 years until 2011. It aired on 120 channels and an audience of 10 million people. The show grossed 125 million US dollars by the end of its first year, on which Winfrey received 30 million US dollars. Oprah owns several big businesses like Harpo Productions, Oprah Winfrey Network, Harpo Radio Incorporated, and along with that, her net worth also grows. Oprah's net worth is now 2.6 billion US dollars. Oprah Winfrey used her billions to purchase numerous stunning multi-million dollar residential properties in her burgeoning real estate portfolio. Let's start with Spanish Revival Estate, Montecito, California. Oprah paid 6.9 million US dollars to secure the Spanish Revival Estate, Montecito, California. Its living room has whitewashed walls, vaulted wooden ceiling, large lattice windows, and a generously sized fireplace has a minimal, elegant, yet cozy feel. The rustic yet part back style continues in the kitchen with a wooden ceiling that features several skylights along with a custom wood cabinetry and the marble top center island. The classy theme carries into the master suite. The room enchants with exposed beams, bay windows, and French doors that lead into the blissful backyard. The suite also features a supersized walk-in wardrobe and bathroom, which contains a deep-soaking tub to relax and unwind in. And outside Oprah's Spanish Revival Estate is the pool and spa area, pool house, and red brick terrace, as well as carriage house that serves as an art studio and an all-important private well. Madronigal Retreat, Orcas Island, Washington Oprah's next big real estate buy came in the summer of 2018 on where she paid a bargain of 8.3 million US dollars. It was first listed for 12 million. The Mandronigal Retreat, Orcas Island, Washington is a 43-acre waterfront estate called Mondranigal on Washington's Orcas Island, a magnet for the ultra-wealthy craving peace and solitude. Blending in beautifully with the surrounding, the main 8,000-square-foot house, which was designed by Dickinson McDowell and her late husband, was built using reclaimed wood and local sandstone, making it a wonderfully sustainable home. The Eco Mansion, which is nestled within a calming Asian-style garden, has a total of four bedrooms and five bathrooms, and looks out onto its very own beach. The home's open-plan living room is simply divine. The high ceiling space, seriously impressed with reclaimed beams, exposed stone walls, and an enormous fireplace. Interestingly, the floorboards were gleaned from the original Sears building in Oprah's former stomping ground of Chicago. The kitchen has a wood-fired pizza oven to a massive center island and charmingly mismatched country-style cabinetry. The home's bedrooms are just as cozy and this one's delight with heart-stopping waterfront views. It has its wine cellar, fitness center, and music studio. 
Cimer Farm, Montecito, California. Oprah extended her Montecito real estate portfolio in December 2016 when she purchased a 23-acre equestrian estate called Seamare Farm. She bought the property for 28.9 million US dollars. It contains a single-story ranch house that was designed by the architect Cliff May and completed in 1955. The property's pad is a mid-century masterpiece. It has wood siding clad exterior and an open concept interior with four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a wine cellar, and a total of four fireplaces. The property also features three Biju residences that are no doubt used to house staff or guests. The estate equestrian facilities are top-notch and have been meticulously maintained as you can see from this shot of one of the riding rings. Its property also contains numerous paddocks and a multi-stall stable, which has to make it one of the finest equestrian estates for miles around with a two-acre avocado grove, an orchard with plenty of fragrant fruit trees, and two private water wells to boot. Contemporary Ski Chalet, Telluride, Colorado. In the year 2014, Oprah bought 60 acres of land in, in the ski resort of Telluride in Colorado for 14 million US dollars. The ski chalet has a five bedroom, six and a half bathroom. The living room has a double height ceiling with wood paneling, dramatic floor to ceiling windows, and a huge stone fireplace. The open plan kitchen is nice and spacious. It has rocking fine wood cabinetry and stainless steel countertops. Exposed steel beams lend the space a hip industrial feel through the warm wood cupboards and rustic stone wall prevent it from looking cold and clinical. Its kitchen leads into a dining area that can seat up to 8 people. That's all for today guys. If you want to see more about celebrities or other luxurious lifestyles, please do check the other videos on this channel and consider hitting on like, subscribe, and share to be updated on our latest videos. See you in our next video!